Hi, my name is Latoya Gratton, and I'm going to walk you through the process of finding and downloading data that the federal government keeps on data.gov. Data.gov was started by the Obama administration. It's basically a clearinghouse for government data stored on dozens of different federal websites. It currently sports about 400,000 data sets, which sounds like a lot, but it's still far short from all the data the federal government has available. If you don't find what you're looking for on here, you can go directly to an agency website. Sometimes agencies have more current data than what you find on data.gov. Data.gov is still useful. In this demo, let's find data on U.S. foreign aid. To complete this tutorial, you will need Microsoft Excel or some other type of program that can open spreadsheets. We'll start by searching data.gov for information on our topic. Let's go to the Data tab and click on New Data. Let's search for economic assistance. Note that you can filter data on the left-hand side of the page to find different file types, including data sets you can view in a web browser, external data sets that must be downloaded to view documents, charts, maps, calendars, and even forms, which can show you what kind of data the agency collects. One of the search results looks promising. Let's click on a link on the U.S. Overseas Loans and Government Data. To download the data, click on the button that says CSV 0.4 MB. The CSV means the data is stored as a CSV or comma separated values file. That means it opens any other spreadsheet on a database program such as Microsoft Excel. Other data may come in other forms, such as XML file, a flexible type of file that allows you to open the data in many programs or KML files, which only provide geographical data for mapping. Once the data is downloaded, open up in Excel. Now we can see it contains information about how much money the U.S. gave to other countries each year, dating back to several decades. Let's go back to data.gov. Click on Interactive Datasets to see more online databases. You can also get the raw data from these on the Raw Data tab by clicking Datasets next to the red icon. Searching for economic assistance on the interactive databases brings up this data on domestic aid. Let's say we only want data about aid through the Farm Service Agency. We can filter it by clicking on the blue filter button at the top of the data and adding what's known as the filter condition. For example, Select the federal agency field and type in Farm Agency. I'm selecting contains instead of is for the filter because I want all the records to have any mission of the Farm Service Agency, in addition to any other text. Click on Export to download this in the file format we want, like .csv, for example. There are many file options available when you export, but a CSV file will allow you to open it in many database programs such as Excel or Access. A PDF file, on the other hand, will only allow you to view the data rather than work on it. Data.gov also offers geographic data, which is useful for mapping information. For this menu near the top of the site, select Geodata. Here you can search for any keyword by category or by agency. There's also another way to search data by topic. Click Community on the menu near the top of the site. So let's look at Restore to Gulf information. If you click on View More button under the Raw Data section, you'll go to the page with a collection of data associated with the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Lastly, you can also select the What's New tab to see the newest data releases on data.gov and find information about what's coming down the pipeline. Now that you have a handle on using data.gov, please check out our other tutorials such as using data in an Excel spreadsheet or mapping data. If you'd like to find out more information, check out our website at sunlightfoundation.com.